Father in heaven, we thank you for this day, for this man and this woman. We thank you for your spirit who fills us with the ability to love as you love. Jacob and Emily, marriage was given by God himself. On this day, you know, most of us would think it's about the ceremony, the wonderful celebration, all the different details that played into it. But since the beginning of time, it has always been about displaying who God is. The highest calling a husband can know the Bible says is to love your wife as Christ loves the church and gave himself up for her. I know Emily knows that. And I know Emily knows that you're a man of God. Lord, thank you for this gorgeous day. I feel very blessed to have Jacob as my son-in-law. He's a man of high moral character, and I appreciate that. I feel blessed to have Emily as my own daughter, and I could not imagine a better 23-year-old girl to go through life with Jacob with. Allow them to do what they're absolutely capable of doing, which I know are great things together. During those first few years of Jacob's life, um, we were very best friends, actually. Sand castles at the beach were a thing of the past, and camping with your brother suddenly wasn't cool anymore. I saw Emily walk in and like twirl her hair, sit next to Jacob, Jacob talked to her. I've always known you to be somebody that I look up to the most. He is truly an example of what a man should be. He is hardworking, ambitious, intelligent, respectful, and most of all, dedicated to Christ. And as much as Jacob and Emily have consented together in marriage, have witnessed the same before God and these witnesses, have given and pledged their faith to each other and have declared the same by receiving these rings by the authority vested in me as a minister. I pronounce them husband and wife. You may now kiss your bride. Jacob and Emily's love for Christ and the church is in large part why we are all gathered here today. I hope the next chapter of your life is filled with endless happiness, laughter, and love, and maybe a call to your brother every once in a while. Father, we ask in the name of Jesus, through the power of the Holy Spirit, to be glorified as the lives of Jacob and Emily become one life, lived to the glory of God.